Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. This is Celeste with notthatceleste.com and on Instagram at notthatcelest. I am here today to talk to you a little bit about how to best clean your leather shoes, focusing specifically on my Sarah Flint Greer sandals. Um, for those of you that do follow me on social, you may remember that I recently took a trip to San Antonio. And for those of you who have not been to San Antonio, or maybe if you have, um, you'll know that San Antonio is, you know, pretty, pretty dusty, pretty sandy. And then we also did go for Fiesta. Um, so a lot of street fairs, a lot of walking around, um, lots of potential beverages being, you know, spilled. So, um, you know, I personally do believe that if you are going to invest in a pair of sandals like the Greer's, um, you want to kind of get as much wear out of them as possible. And, you know, I love the Greer's. I will be the first person to admit I own four pair. Um, and so the, uh, the saddle Vachetta leather are, you know, certainly my favorites because I think that they are the most versatile of the colors that I own. And so I do tend to wear them a lot. And so what that means is I will, I have gotten them a little bit wet. Um, I've definitely gotten them a little bit muddy. And so, um, but you can see, you know, right here that the sandal looks, you know, practically, practically new. And so, um, you know, how I, how I kind of do that, I do use a leather conditioner and I do kind of clean the footbed of the shoe before, before putting them away after, after each wear. I just think that, you know, kind of getting into the habit of, you know, conditioning your leather and, you know, brushing out your suede, if it's a booty or a boot, um, just helps kind of, you know, elongate the, you know, the amount of time you have with your shoes. And of course, you know, if they do get, you know, super dirty or, you know, they get scratched or something like that, definitely taking them to a professional, you know, cobbler um, is, is the way to go. But this is, you know, kind of my quick method on how to, you know, clean your shoes pretty quickly before, before putting them away. And so, you know, I use a combination of a damp, you know, slightly damp paper, paper towel to clean the footbed. And then I will also use a leather conditioner. Um, I just purchased this one off of, off of Amazon. This is the, the Skidmore's leather cream. Um, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do this, but, uh, you know, the Skidmore's leather cream and then, um, just a microfiber towel that I did purchase, you know, actually at Target. I think it came in a pack of four. And so, um, you know, when I, when I travel, I do keep my, my, my shoes in their, their shoe bag. Whenever you purchase a pair of Sarah Flint shoes, they actually do come with a shoe bag, one for each shoe. So you do get two, um, with the sandals. I, I like to just travel with one. It's just a little bit easier for me, but you can obviously certainly each shoe can live in its own bag. Um, but so just to kind of start on, on how you go about, you know, actually applying the leather conditioner to the shoe and kind of how I go about cleaning them, um, you know, as you can see with the footbed, I do have a little bit of, little bit of crud on there. And so I will actually just take the damp paper cloth, paper towel and just kind of rub real quickly to get some of, you know, any of the dirt kind of off, off the shoe, um, before applying the leather conditioner. And again, you don't want your paper towel to be wet because you don't want it to soak the leather, um, or kind of, you know, soak into the footbed, but I just do kind of a quick, quick clean just to make sure they are, they're nice before they get restored in my closet. Um, and then as far as the leather conditioner goes, again, this is a cream. Um, there is a ton of cream in this tub. You do not need to use a lot. In fact, you know, start with a little bit. Um, and especially if it is a leather conditioner that you have never used before, or it's a shoe that you have never leather conditioned before, you're going to want to start small and you're going to want to start in an area that isn't noticeable. Um, I should note, and I'll actually point out right now, you can see between the two pair, um, the one that's in my, my right hand, probably your left hand is darker. I did just apply the leather conditioner to this shoe and I have not applied it to this one yet. Um, you should expect that a leather conditioner will darken your leather a little bit. Um, it will typically lighten as the leather conditioner kind of dries and conditions the leather, but there will be a slight change in, in the color of the leather itself. And so, um, if that's not something that you're super okay with, you know, obviously kind of read the different, um, kind of descriptions of the leather conditioners. Um, but, but do expect that and obviously try, try the leather conditioner before using it on the full shoe on some place where it's not super visible, just to make sure that you're comfortable with the tint that you're going to get. And so, I will start by rubbing in a little bit of conditioner kind of on the underside of the straps. Um, you know, don't forget those, those do need love too. 
And one thing I should point out, if you do have sensitive skin, you will also likely want to try out the leather conditioner, maybe you know, rub a little bit on your hand, um, just to make sure that as the leather conditioner does dry and you put it back on the shoes for wear, it's not gonna give you a rash or anything like that. Because of course, you know, if it doesn't really necessarily matter if your shoes look great after being leather conditioned, if you can no longer wear them because they give you kind of the itchies, that's not great either. So um, I just go around, um, kind of apply the leather conditioner kind of in, in smaller strokes. Um, if I do see that there might be a little bit of extra staining, I might apply a little bit of extra leather conditioner just to kind of really rub that in. Um, but again, I do try to apply a super even coat um, because as I mentioned, probably will mention a couple more times, um, the conditioner will change the color on the leather a little bit. And so you wanna make sure that it, the color is consistent across your entire shoe. So I will typically try to apply in kind of a circular manner, just making sure that I'm rubbing all of the conditioner in. And as you can see, super, super easy process. It is a little bit time consuming um, because you do again want to make sure that you're applying a nice even coat. Um, but super, super simple. This is a really easy process. Again, will probably take you start to finish, you know, again with the Greers because they are um, a relatively, you know, it's not a super wide strap, but they do obviously have about, you know, they have three components per shoe that you will need to condition. Probably take you about 10 minutes to kind of fully, fully condition the entire entire shoe but I just think it's so worth it especially you know when you consider the longevity of, of you know how long you're probably going to want to keep your sandals I mean for me again it's going to be years and years I absolutely love these and so um so I hope that you know you find success in conditioning your shoes as well um, and of course if you are interested in the Greers or any other Sarah Flint shoe um, you can definitely use my code um, kind of all capital letters Sarah Flint dash BA, not that Celeste, kind of all one word, no spaces, um, for $50 off your first purchase. And I will also drop that code into the caption. Um, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out to me on social at not that Celeste on Instagram or not that Celeste.com on my blog. Hope you enjoyed again and have a wonderful day and hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.